In January last year, thousands of visitors were expected to return to CES 2021, and to move around the convention center using the new tunnel system completed by the Boring Company. COVID-19 cancelled the event and the visitors, but not the expansion of the tunneling. For the future editions of CES, visitors will be able not only to use the loop around the convention center, but will also be able to travel to other locations in Las Vegas, using the same transportation system, but much larger. Steve Davis, the Boring Company CEO, presented the details during a presentation to the Las Vegas City Council. And it was quickly approved. Here are the details. So Las Vegas Loop is a safe, reliable, and extremely affordable public transportation system that the Boring Company is proposing to construct both in the city of Las Vegas, which is why we're here, as well as Clark County. Uh, up to this point um, in this area, uh, the Boring Company has constructed a, um, um, a dual tunnel 0.8 mile system at the Las Vegas Convention Center. Uh, this is a, a fairly large expansion proposal um, to run a much larger transportation system. Um, the portion that you can see in the map is the portion uh, for the land use uh, vote today. This is the portion in the city of Las Vegas, which you can kind of see uh, above the, uh, the horizontal line, which is Sahara, uh, at the bottom there. So this would be a tunnel that would run beneath Main Street, um, all the way up north, um, and then would come, come back on Las Vegas Boulevard with stations distributed all the way along there. This vote specifically is for this, the tunnel portion, which is the main artery. Uh, any further stations would have to come, uh, come back before, before yourselves. Uh, going to a, a broader map. Now this kind of shows the, uh, the much larger vision, and it might just appear to be a bunch of squiggles when you're, when you're, looking, on the, uh, when you're looking from this angle. But the, uh, the portion at the north is obviously the portion of the city of Las Vegas. The portion in the south is a, a proposal that we're pursuing in parallel in Clark County. Obviously, we are highly incentivized to make sure these, uh, these two systems touch. Uh, if they didn't touch, that would be a silly thing to do. So, um, but we're obviously here. Uh, for, the, for the city portion, but the really kind of great thing about this is if this system uh, is constructed, and I should probably say at this point, uh, this is a zero taxpayer dollar, uh, zero public dollars would be going into this, uh, into this system. This would be a privately funded venture by our company and various property owners. Pretty nice. Um, but if, um, if we are able um, to construct this, um, you start getting some pretty fantastic benefits, at least in our opinion. Um, We'll start at least with, uh, with travel time. Um, if you look at the entire system, not just the city, if you look at the entire system that's being proposed, um, from all the way from McCarran Airport, obviously that's not part of this, uh, and a lot of work has to be done there, but all the way up to Fremont Street, you're looking at a travel time of about seven minutes. So for that large map that I showed on the previous slide, the max time that it would take you to get from any point on that map to any other point on that map is seven minutes, um, which is pretty short. Um, and then, of course, the question is, what is in the tunnel, which is a pretty important question. Um, and the answer are Tesla vehicles. Um, so Tesla electric, so all electric systems, zero emissions, which is pretty wonderful for a public transportation system. Um, and the, the reason this is being done is for the last kind of bullet point in the slide, which is fundamentally um, one of the most important things about this system, is that it is an express system. Because we get asked very, very often, why don't you build a subway? And subways are wonderful, very wonderful, don't get me wrong. But if you have a system such as going from the airport to Las Vegas Strip to Fremont Street, and you have 40 or 50 or 60 stations, if you had to stop at every one of those stations, that's an hour and a half. Um, you, your average speed will end up being five, six miles an hour, which is very common for some public transportation systems. If you have an express system, you go straight there. You go from stop one to stop nine, or stop three to stop four. Well, that'd be <laughs> three to four would be terrible. Three to 14. Um, and in that case, you go directly there. And that is the reason to get that express architecture, to get people very low travel times, that you end up going with the smallest possible vehicle, which is actually a car. The most important thing of all of this, while the travel time is great and the vehicles are great, by far the fundamental most important point here is safety. This cannot just be as safe as another public transportation system. It must be the safest public transportation system ever built. And obviously, I can't go into all of this, um, but I'll, I'll hit a few bullets. But just know that our company, and working with your teams, um, both in the county and the city, 
um, have gone through this process and continue to go through this process of making sure this is the safest system ever constructed. Um, I'll, I'll mention that the Tesla vehicles, which are the th three safest vehicles by NHTSA standards ever constructed, are, are Teslas. Go to NHTSA website. Um, the, 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 the entire evacuation uh, procedure, the lack of sensitivity to water, um, the lack of touch hazards in the tunnel, which is a very big thing if you compare it to other systems, the actual very wide walkway for evacuation, um, you end up, if you go through all of those things, and we'll go through them as much as, uh, as much as needed, end up with this incredibly safe system. And as I want to stress, and will always say this, it is the most important thing. Uh, so with that, again, I want to appreciate everyone's time. We're very excited to hopefully be able to construct this. We think that we can bring an incredible benefit uh, to the city and the county uh, with these very low travel times um, yeah, and very, very reliable system. So we're pretty excited about it, and with that, we'll turn it over. The first time we were approached by a boring company uh, to consider what they were, what they were uh, offering here, um, we were very excited from the get-go on this, on this proposal. Um, there's very few times in someone's lifetime that you can be part of something that we think is transformational, and we think this is one of those time pieces or one of those projects. Um, um, and we think that the ability to the times that they claim they can do and, and getting people safely um, between McCarran and our businesses at Strat for sure and in downtown Las Vegas in that slow amount of time or that short amount of time, any day of the week, at any hour of the day, regardless if there's a presidential motorcade going by or uh, traffic uh, accidents that, that cause traffic backups, we think that is an incredible addition to what we are able to offer as a city to convention businesses and to tourism in itself, let alone the media that this will um, provide our city, we think is going to be, uh, is going to be amazing. Um, I, I find it just to be very clever uh, and very eloquent in its solution. And so uh, we're here to support this in any way we could. Uh, we would very much like to be part of this process and, and have a station located outside of Garage Mahal. Um, and we, all the things that the previous speaker said, is, uh, we believe to be true as well. This is a very good thing in our opinion, and uh, any support we can offer, uh, we're going to. And I wanted to indicate, as a steward of downtown, my support for this project. Um, very few times in your life can you be a game changer, and more importantly, get to go to business with uh, Elon Musk. So, uh, given those kinds of conditions, I think this is going to really change the platform for downtown. It will help the medical district. I know that one of the loops that they're looking at is that. One of the loops they're looking at is for the arts district to both emerging areas of our town. And then for downtown and these casino hotels, it's endless. Seven minutes, I can't wait. Really, it was unbelievable the time that you did. The, the time was so quick that you put those tunnels together. Um, it was an amazing tour to see what you've done and how you monitor everything in real time. I'd like you to thank Elon Musk for thinking out of the box and everything he's done bringing this to our city, to our great city.